I'm pleased to have right here in studio here uh, on the Rich Eisen Show uh, a guy I've been a fan of, obviously, since his American Pie days, playing the role of Finch. He is now on the hit television show. I'm allowed to say that because it's not only is it uh, promoted that way on CBS America's Most Watched Network, I see the ratings for it, uh, plays Toby Curtis on the hit show Scorpion, Eddie K. Thomas. Good to see you here, sir. Thanks. That was a good intro. I like that. Well, oh, wow. Don't leave me hanging right there. <laughs> nice yeah. to see you, yeah, sir. This is my introduction to you, sir. I like that. I was kind of Let me adjust my fake microphone on my desk sitting next to you here. <laughs> uh, of, all, of all the things I want to talk to you about, First things first is you're from Staten Island, my hometown yeah, as well. Yeah, yeah. Right? And I was so excited hearing you talk about the Godfather theme horn. Did you That's remember a that from thing. your youth too, right? That happened. It just, it was part of the noise of the neighborhood. There was nothing weird about it. It would usually be like a big, souped up Cadillac, usually for me. And I don't know about. Followed, what are you doing? Get out of the way! Oh! <laughs> and, and, mm -hmm. the, and, and the theme would come out as they honked the horn. Yeah. And you'd hear it all the time. It, it, it suited our home. What, what part of Staten Island are you I from? Was on, uh, I was in Newdorp. Newdorp. I'm from Willowbrook, okay. just a little bit up the road. I looked straight onto the tracks of the Staten Island Rapid Transit Operating S -I -R, Authority. S-I-R. Sertoa. Yeah. Then you yeah. could take that straight to the ferry. Forget we about it. Over there. We get on the ferry. And, oh, it's an hour away from the city. Oh. We're fine. Now, Newdorp. Newdorp is mm -hmm. also the, I mean, that's, that's Staten Island right there. Newdorp. That's the heart. Now, it's Newdorp, if I'm not mistaken, is where the Rodney Dangerfield character from Easy Money mm -hmm. was from. They even mentioned he's from the New Dorp section Absolutely. of Staten Island. There's a great moment where they're all at the wedding party. In the backyard. And they all pack into the tight little backyard. <laughs> and I think they're crowded behind an above-ground pool as well. That's Staten Island. Yeah. Uh, I know. My favorite scene, Joe Pesci was in that movie as well. Sure was. And my favorite scene was, because they, from that movie that I remember, there's a diner an actual diner from Staten Island that my mm -hmm. friends and I would always drive past. I forget uh -huh. the name. I think it was the Victory Diner it might have been. Victory Diner is a real thing. Right. Yeah. And the sign said, we always joked about it growing up, open 23 hours. Yeah. That was a real That's sign. A perfect and, Staten Island thing. And somebody yeah. must have been doing some sort of a, a, a set tour for mm -hmm. the movie, yeah. driving through and saw the sign. And you remember Rodney and Joe Pesci walk up to it and the, the lights go out just <laughs> as they walk moment. up yeah. to it. Yeah. That's the one yeah, hour that the they were closed. That's thing. It's like, we need an hour. We don't want to do it. Just, it's fine. <laughs> it's the way we do it. All right? It's what we want. Eddie K. Thomas here uh, on The Rich Eisen Show. So from Staten Island. Yeah. That's sort of, that's usually... This is the most I've ever talked about Staten Island. Ever? I think in, ever. Yeah. Since moving off I usually of try to, to move away from it, but I'm, 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 uh, I'm embracing on. it. Oh, I'm embracing come on, it. you are what you it's are. It's a beautiful place. It's in it your doesn't DNA, change. brother. Uh, so th that's usually Met Jet Country in Staten Island. Yeah, Which, I mean... What, what, uh, as opposed to Yankee, Giant. Listen, so, I mean, I was there as a kid, so that was 86, so uh, the Mets happened. That's it. Um, and also, when you're five years old and there's a player named Strawberry on the team... Sold. Bingo. So that's your, guy, that's your guy from your youth? I Darryl mean, it Strawberry. was my guy from my youth because he was named after a delicious fruit. <laughs> um, but, uh, I, uh, yeah, so I've stuck with the Mets. And my old man, you know. So you I have think. stuck with them? Absolutely, through thick and thin. Because you, you were, I mean, it doesn't get much better for a Met fan, the 86. But I mean, actually, if the, your old it. man would be 69, that's, obviously. That's all we got. I think it started in 69, but I'm feeling good about this year, but that's probably because it's April 2nd. Have you seen the cover of the New York Post baseball I, preview that I, we showed earlier? I Did just you see looked that? online, and they said, actually, they're going to do it this year. Well, I mean, and the cover of the, the, the Post baseball preview is right and Harvey in front of Yankee Stadium. It's not them, literally, it's just an, a, a rendering. You can take a look at the screen right there. there and Girardi peeking out behind the up, upper deck, and it says, it's our turn, look out, Yanks, Mets ready to paint town blue and orange. As a Met fan, you see this, you think what? I think, think that's so New York Post that's because, right. like, Wright and Harvey seem like the nicest guys in the world and they would never want to do that. Right. But, um, I mean, as a, I mean, I'm trying to be objective here. That's a strong team. That's a strong rotation. Uh, yeah. I'm hearing Flores uh, at short looks really promising. Um, I'm, I'm but excited. But usually it, the Met Jet concept is you're looking for the trap door to open, that something's going to happen. That's, that's Wheeler around, blows that's around out his May arm. 1st. That's, <laughs> it's, I, it's I, it will come. <laughs> it's, it's something. You're too um, early for that right now? I feel like the Wheeler thing wasn't, I mean, it's, it sucks, but I don't think it's the end of the world. I think we got enough, uh, I think with Harvey and DeGrom and even Cologne, dare I say. Bartolo Cologne. Our opening day starter. 
What? Like, what is Why? up with that? I know. I don't understand. Apparently, that. it's because they want Harvey to start the second home game so they can sell that game out, which I'm not a fan of. Oh, this is a Because full... they knew that they would sell out opening day. Okay. So I mean, just stick co cologne out there. It doesn't matter. Say a bag of not, donuts. Just stick a bag of donuts not, out there. They say not greed, that they, if they make the money, they could reinvest it in the team. <laughs> that'll, I'm sure that'll happen. Um, but... Um, so Bartolo Colon is opening there? There you go. And I just right. joked, there's a bag of donuts. Some people would actually say that that is an actual bag of donuts that you're putting out there. Copy that. Yeah, that'll, that'll get them Your there. Bartolo Colon. Yeah. Uh, I have Eddie K. Thomas here of uh, Scorpion um, and uh, uh, Met Fandom and Staten Island's own, uh, I'll call you that, uh, Eddie K. Thomas right here on the Rich Eisen Show. So you're a Nick fan as well to keep the long-suffering theme yeah. going on here? Yeah, here we go. I mean, I think... Uh, I've never before been more excited for each win because at this point we just want the number one pick, right? So, well, I actually don't know how it works. I mean, if you have the worst record in the NBA, then you're guaranteed well, then you one get of the, the most, top three? Well, no, no. Then you, you, you get the most ping pong balls. Are they really using ping pong balls? Unless Isaiah really Thomas sold all of your bing, ping pong yeah, balls away exactly. between the years of 2010 and 2013. For every possible future draft right. pick. Uh, Isaiah Thomas may have, may have the entire machine, he may have sold that to the, to the really old CBA. I'm curious, though. Do they really claim it's just ping pong balls and the vacuum thing that you used to see on Channel 11 and someone just picks them? <laughs> Is that really, like, how they determine well, the Well, they draft? first started with the bowling for dollars sort of, right. uh, uh, I guess, hamster There's no cage. way that's really how it's done. It is. Well, you remember, the, you know, the, the, the theory about how the Knicks got Patrick Ewing back in the day. No. The theory about this is because it used to be this big sort of uh, container, big ping pong ball looking type container filled right. with huge envelopes that were right. in there. Yeah. And David Stern would reach for the envelope the footage, and put yeah. it on put it on the uh, on a ledge and go all the way up to number one. The, the, the rumor is scurrilous, as the NBA would say, mm -hmm. that they put the Knicks envelope in the freezer so Stern would know, don't choose the coldest envelope possible until the last wow. one. And that's how the Knicks got Patrick Ewing. I mean, that's, wow, that's, that's I didn't know. That's a conspiracy know. theory. Like, it's one I'll of the top it. conspiracy theories. It actually sounds theories. like a great idea. Well, Can we do that again? Well, yeah. they should do that again when Michael Jordan's not playing. There you go. Because <laughs> of yeah. all the times to get Patrick Ewing. Yeah, actually, I'm not angry at Getting Patrick Ewing. You, uh, you know what? I mean, I've, I'm a long-suffering Nick fan as well, mm -hmm. and I've, Dolan has beaten it out of me, though. He's, oh my God. he's he Do, uh, Dolan has totally beaten it out of me. Yeah, I can't handle um, it anymore. I, yeah. I don't feel the love from ownership. I don't mm -hmm. feel the care. I mean, I don't think. I think the Jeremy Lin decision to not sign him was the right move. Well, clearly, but there just it just felt like. Give the fans something, and at that time, mm -hmm. that's all we had. And then it was like, no, we don't want it. And it was it was the right basketball move. Sure, but um, I um, I'm looking for some love. I'm looking for some compassion, and we deserve it. Mm -hmm. Eddie K. Thomas is here um, on the Rich Eisen show. We had Robert Patrick in here yeah. a couple of months ago from your one of your co-stars from man. Scorpion. He is a man's man. Yeah, he's a, he's a Terminator. Not much of a sports fan, but well, a man's I mean, man. Hey, he 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 knew he knew uh, Michigan Wolverines football. He, he knows grew a lot about Brady that. Hoke. He was he was best friends with Brady Hoke. Yeah. What, what's it been like for you on Scorpion? Eddie? Uh, it, uh, it used to be very intimidating having to uh, look into Robert Patrick's eyes yes. every day, mm -hmm. uh, but I've gotten past that. And, and then there's uh, Catherine McPhee. Look and good. then I try not to melt when I look into of her course. eyes. Yes, indeed. Um, and uh, it's been amazing. I, I really lucked out. You know, I was psyched to get on a TV show, and mm -hmm. then I wound up on a really fun one that, uh, you know, I thought it was just going to be a normal procedural, but we're kind of like the A-team. We show up and... We, we solve the crimes, but we cause a lot of damage along our way. There's a lot of comedy. Um, we get to do some romance stuff. And, uh, you know, because television has really raised its game. Sure. And you can't just do a, a normal show, because with Netflix and Hulu and all these really cool shows, you got to do interesting stuff. Mm -hmm. And we're doing it, and people are watching it, and the people that watch it keep watching it, and I still have a job. Yes. And that, which, that's the best part. That is the best part. I get to go to work in the morning. But you still live in New York, though? You still live in New York? I'm in New York until I'm done with Scorpion, which shouldn't be for about 30 or 40 years. Let's hope so. Yeah. Yeah, let, let's absolutely hope yeah. so. So it's, uh, it's a fun show. And what was it like being in the American Pie films? That worked Fitch? out. Yeah. <laughs> that went well. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. Yes, yeah. it did. It did go well. What, what, uh, was that, what was that experience like? Did you know when you were making the first one what it was you know potentially going to When we were become? making the first one, teen movies... Mm -hmm. We're already a kind of thing because I remember when we were doing it, like ah oh, they're doing another teen movie because I think Scream had come out and I think Can Hardly Wait and and so we're like oh this is great we're doing a movie but mm -hmm. uh, then it became a thing 
Right. Look at me. I'm a little guy. Yeah, they are behind there. Yeah. That is a. Th it's sort of like a throwback Thursday that we're throwing. We're, right it there. is Thursday. How old were you? I was that? 17 when that picture was taken. No that was kidding. half a lifetime ago for me. Wow. And um, yeah, and it was my bright idea to wear Converse with that tuxedo. Well, maybe you're going to a fight. You're kind of yeah, early maybe. on the trend, though, right? What's that? You're kind of early on the trend. People wear chucks with. I've, it's been now. said on Twitter that Finch was one of the early hipsters, there one of the go. original hipsters. Yeah, maybe that's um, maybe that's where Mr. Kraft gets it from, wearing his Chuck true. Taylors with his. Does with Robert his suit? Kraft wear Chuck Taylors? Yeah, he, he would no. He wears what does he wear? Air Force Ones. The Air Force Ones. Yeah, yeah. That's pretty badass. That's Stop it. With the fret, with the French collar, and the French cuffs. He can do whatever he wants. Yes, yes, he can. Yeah. Yes, yeah. he can. Hey, man, this has been a, this has been a this blast. This is awesome. I'm a fan of the show, and it was really exciting Thank to Thank you. Here. Absolutely. Yeah. Please come back when you're back Certainly. in town, when you're Absolutely. back in town shooting Scorpion. Yeah, great to meet Excellent. you. Excellent. You got it. This is Eddie K. Thomas uh, right here on the uh, Rich Eisen Show. The Rich Eisen Show, weekdays at noon Eastern. On Audience.